Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Moments with Bella and this is your girl. Guess what? I'm starting my day with a cup of coffee. Oh my goodness. Oh. Mm. Mm. This smells nice. Mm. It feels good to start your day with a cup of coffee. Yeah, let me drop my cup of coffee before some persons will want to have some with me. All right, so moving on on today's episode of um, Moments with Bella. I went to um, research, you know, I've been trying to you know, get some things done, trying to find out what's up, how to make things right and all that. So while I was surfing the internet, I got, I, I came across this um, article and it blew my mind. It says 10 steps. To be successful my god when i went through those 10 steps i said to myself hmm i think it's high time i start practicing all these things so that i can be successful but i also said that it is just it also feels good to share my knowledge with you guys my friends you know i've got you guys back i can hide knowledge from you people i have to tell you what i know so sit back if you have a cup of coffee just relax like i want to relax then i give you some cheese you know what i'm saying <laughs> Hmm. All right, so let's move on. First step of being successful is you gotta be tough. Oh yeah. If you want to be a successful person, you have to be tough. The road will be tough and the road does not need someone who is timid, who is soft. You need someone who is tough. The road of success, I tell you, brothers and sisters, is not as smooth as you may see. You might feel the social media makes it look so beautiful, but behind it is a whole lot of work. And so it demands someone who is tough and who is ready to work. So number one is to be tough. Number two, surround yourself with great minds, people who can think like you, people who are even more better than you, great minds. Who could share ideas and of course help to shape you to be a better person hmm, like they say two dummies makes a greater dummy so if you are wise click yourself to someone who is intelligent smart enough to you know, bring ideas creative and of course inspire you connect yourself with such persons and you will go far in life you have to surround yourself with Great, great people. Now, number three is you need to be a warrior. Hmm. If you want to fight a battle, you must be a warrior. You must be strong enough. You must set a standard. You must be the warrior that you are looking for. If you don't seek for warrior outside, you are a warrior. You have to bring that which is inside of you. You have to develop it. And of course, come out as a warrior that's number three all right so number four hmm this four is something else you must be committed fully fully you have to be committed it's not i'm one in today to go and out no you gotta be committed like they say success is predictable failure is predictable number four so the number fifth one is you have to take action Okay, if nothing works unless you take action, you have to take action. You have to get up in the morning, face that day, take action, pursue that purpose, go for that interview, read that book, do that music that you want to do, go for that contract. Anything that you want to do, you need to take action. Number six is you need to take responsibility. You have to be responsible for yourself. Don't give excuse. Don't blame anybody because you are down. No, you have to take the responsibility. You have to accept it for yourself. Don't give excuses. Don't feel, oh, my background is not good enough, so I cannot make it. Who said so? Should I remind you? Lots of great men today, their background is nothing to write home about. So your case is not an excuse. That is why Maris Moran said something about leadership when it comes, comes to leadership. He said, that the lion is more influential, not because he is the biggest, 
not the smallest. No, the lion is not the biggest, neither is it the smallest, but we often call it the strongest. But you know that the lion is not really the strongest, but the lion has influence. The lion takes responsibility. The lion holds itself accountable, whether to live, not to die. Do you know what a lion does? Whenever he sees a perpetrator, hmm, he sees it as a food. But so many of us, when we are faced with challenges like this, we feel that the world is on us. But little do we know that such could be an elevator for us. It could be an opportunity. But in disguise, then we go crumbling, shaking. Oh, I'm going to die right now. But you don't know that that could be your victory. You have to hold yourself accountable for your success. Hold yourself accountable for your destiny. Be responsible. Take responsibility of your success. All right. The next point is do not show your weakness. Never show your weakness. Oh, girlfriend, don't you do that. Your weakness is meant for you alone. You can walk on it, hide it. Because if you show your weakness, people will use your weakness against you. Like a scheme, like a strategy to pull you down. So you have to cover your weakness or work on your weakness. The next point is, you should be willing to break an air. Yeah. You need, in the process of success, you're going to step on people's toes. Yeah. You can't be everyone's friend. So... Be willing to do that. Take a stand and tell them this is who you are and this is what you stand for. It's not your fault that you want to be successful because you got to be successful. So be ready. Step on toes. The next point is hmm, you got to stop wasting time. Time is precious. You have to stop wasting your time. Take your time. Read books. Do your music. Study. Research. Do a lot of things that's going to add value to your life because value is what it takes. Value is all. So you have to work to get value. And lastly, do you, girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? Do you. Don't be a copycat. Be you. Pursue you. Be confident with you. Just love you and do you. Don't be like, I want to be like A, now B. I want to be me. So I'm going to do me. If you don't like me, it's okay. It's allowed. You're not meant to like me. I'm not even waiting for you to like me. But I'm going to do me. Because in doing me, I'm going to fulfill me success. It's me success. It's not you success. Me. So, you got to do you. So, guys, thank you for watching. That's all I have for you on how to be successful in life. Please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe to my youtube channel and you get more videos from moment with bella where we talk about a whole lot of things so guys thank you for watching i love you see you next time